Better ingredients, better pizza, better bitches, better money, my clothes better, my shoes better, I work harder. Little Caesars, fuck Domino. I'm taking some me time. You want in? I would think that would destroy the point of me time. See ya! <sighs> they hung on that shot for a lot longer than they needed to. Kinda awkward. Pizza time! Woo! <laughs> Pulling on her leg at this point doesn't really seem like a good idea because if this clearly strong pizza hand keeps a tight enough grip, let's just say that a lot of red stuff will be spilled and it certainly won't be ketchup. Anything is possible when you have rockets for pie! Anything except Kiki being able to escape, apparently. Actually, with that in mind, how does Steven's dream hopping work, anyway? It's clear from Steven doing that and also being able to control stuff that he's lucid dreaming in someone else's dream. So does that not apply to Kiki? Is she not lucid somehow? Because considering how this dream has worked so far, and dream experts can correct me if I'm wrong on this, shouldn't Kiki also be lucid if she can willingly control her emotions and some of her actions during the dream? If so, couldn't she just free herself or because this is more like a nightmare, is that not possible? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this one, because I'm genuinely not sure. Steven's walking is animated in such a way that it looks more like he's limping instead of walking normally. Kiki puts both of her hands on Steven's shoulders in this shot, but in the next shot, she only has one hand on his shoulder, then after that, it's back to two. Also, the way her apron is positioned here changes between these two shots. In the first shot, it seems to go around her shoulders, then in the next shot, it goes around her neck. In your dreams. <laughs> nice. No, no it wasn't. Time to cut the cheese. Prepare yourself for my greatest technique yet. Dream warrior. Dream warrior. Dream warrior. How does Steven get exhausted from using his power like this? I know it's probably some magic BS, but it's not like his brain or his body are doing anything different when dream hopping. He's technically still sleeping, and your brain is always active when you're dreaming, so it can't really be that. And even when you lucid dream constantly, the quality of your sleep isn't actually affected. So unless this is making Steven constantly wake up in the middle of the night, which there's no indication of, there's next to no reason this should be making him as exhausted as he ends up being. And to add on to that, Steven wakes up at 3 p.m. here, which if we assume Kiki is working a usual 9 to 5, should mean Steven has gotten to catch up at least decently on sleep, right? Is he still worrying about helping Kiki and therefore it's still causing his brain to try to connect to Kiki's dream, causing the same effect? I don't know, this is just fucking confusing, and I'm sure overthinking it to fill my nitpicking quota isn't helping. I don't know, Kiki, I think you do! I'm sorry, I... I didn't mean to yell. No, it's okay. I've been asking too much of you. I know it's small, but after the new Lars attacked my enjoyment of this show, I've come to appreciate moments like this where Steven recognizes he's lost his cool and apologizes for it. Bonus points for Kiki actually being a good role model and not immediately firing back, but instead staying calm and admitting her faults as well. We've just been looking at the toppings of the problem. We've got to track this back to the sauce. And now he isn't tired anymore? Is it because he views today's mission with more importance and so pushes it aside unnaturally well? I don't buy that. I do really love the creativity of this place though. It's nice that they put a bit of thought into stuff that would live in a pizza ocean kind of environment. The straps on Kiki's shirt disappear in this shot. And that's especially sinful considering that if I just show you this screenshot out of context, this doesn't exactly look like it's for kids. When I said I couldn't help you anymore after this, you understood. But this is different. She's my sister. That's right. And she cares about you too. Do you think she'd want to put you through this? Does she even know this is happening to you? No. You gotta tell her. This is done pretty masterfully in my opinion. Don't let others push you around is one of the more common morals out there. But the added layer of it being from someone you care about makes this one stand out a little more. And it's great how well they handle it. I hate to be a broken record here, but it really is a night and day difference between this and the new Lars, and it makes me wonder what the hell happened there. But on the other hand, I would think that this likely wouldn't go down that easily, right? I know they were probably running out of time, but I think this would have benefited by having Jenny argue about this a little with her, so that Kiki would have had to explain her reasoning some more. This is still a great scene, I just think it could have been even better.
think you have a serious problem with pizza. 